Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the Pyrostar. Now this Pyrostar is a Mefferts Pyrostar, and if you want more information on where you can buy it and things of that nature, um, go to the unboxing video I have on my channel. So the first thing you need to know about the Pyrostar is that it's basically a 2x2. Two -two. It's just shaped a little bit differently. So here, let me explain it to you. Think of each of these little pieces as being um, one of these pieces. So for example, if I turn this kind of a little bit, you can see you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you flip it over. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So basically it's uh, just like a two by two, um, but there are some things that are a little more challenging about it. So the main thing that you need to know how to solve Pyre Star is you have to know how to solve a two by two first. If you don't know how to solve a 2x2, two two, then solving the Pyro Star is going to be very, very difficult for you. Um, now, the method I use to solve a 2x2 two two is this method. Um, I start by solving um, one layer entirely, like so. So I get the entire first layer done. Then I permute, or sorry, not permute, I orient the um, top layer, like so. So I get like a flush. Um, yellow on the top and then all I do is permute the pieces basically shuffle the pieces around um, To where they solve themselves like that <laughs> if you want more details on how I solve the 2x2 two two, I do have a tutorial on my page um, It's simply called uh, tutorial slash how to solve a 2x2 two two. So um, if you want more specific information on how to solve the 2x2 two two, um, If you're having trouble solving the the uh, pyro star I would suggest looking up that tutorial and it'll um, give you a little more clarification on how exactly I solved the 2x2 two two, and that should help you solve the Pyro Star a little bit better. So that's exactly what we're going to do on the Pyro Star. So let's go ahead and start by scrambling the Pyro Star. Okay, so I think that the uh, puzzle is nice and scrambled. So let's go ahead and start solving it. Now the first thing you want to do is get two pieces correctly solved that are diagonal from each other. Now, the important thing is that you don't do this. Notice how this is orange and yellow and orange and yellow. They're diagonal from each other. So, hey, let's say that they're solved, okay? But the thing is that they both have the same color in it. They both have blue, okay? You cannot have pieces solved opposites from each other if they have the same color. It's not going to work that way. So what you need to do is you need to find a different one that has orange and yellow but doesn't have blue. So this one, for example, has orange and yellow and has green. <laughs> so in this case, this is the correct piece. It has orange and yellow and blue and green. These two are not the same, so therefore they are matched up correctly. So let's go ahead and find the next one. Now, this is a little bit confusing, but um, just try to stay with me and I'll explain it as best I can. You're going to solve these two next. And the important thing you need to note is that you cannot have this tip color cannot be the same color on any three faces as the colors on the bottom ones. So if you think of these as the three base triangles or the corner triangles and this being the tip, this piece for example would be solved incorrectly because the, the corner triangles are orange and the tip has orange in it. It does not solve that way. So you need to find a different piece that does not have orange in it. So let's find one that doesn't have orange. This one will work. So let's just assume that that's the correct position. So we have the, the um, corner ones, and the tip one does not have any of the same um, colors. So basically, there is no orange in the tip. Now, we need to go ahead and check that with some of the other faces. So for example, if we're going to use this as our solved position, we need to turn it and make sure that this piece complies with the rule. So if this is, if we're going to assume that this is solved, that means that this face is yellow. But the tip has yellow in it. Now we're not going to change the tip because we already solved it. We're just going to reorient this piece. So we're going to pull it out and reorient it. And there we go. So again, these two are solved and it does not have orange in the tip. So we're going to assume that this is now the green face. And this does not have any green in it. So we know that this piece is now solved correctly. So what we need is we need a green and a blue that does not have yellow in it. Here's a green and a blue that has an orange. So this one could work. Let's go ahead and put it in and see if it works. 
Just like that. Now this is another thing that could happen. Although this is blue and green and has orange instead of yellow, these two are opposites. See how they're kind of flipped the wrong way? These two are matched up across from each other, but these two kind of make like an X. That means that this isn't the correct piece. There is another piece that has green, blue, and orange in it. It's right here. So we actually need to be solving this piece. And again, the reason that that happens is because of the fact that you have duplicates. Every piece has a duplicate. So you need to make sure that you're not solving the wrong piece. So here we go. They are correctly um, across from each other. And this is orange and this is yellow, which means that those two aren't the same color, so it'll work. So now we have our first layer completely done. 